Check it out. On this episode, Mountain Mike and myself end up having one of those days that prospectors dream about. We stumble upon a rich pocket of gold, something unlike anything we've seen before. We are lucky enough to capture this on video. We're bringing you along for the ride. Well, hello and welcome, folks. It's Prospector Jerry again, and we're on another adventure. Got the side by side. We're headed up to Mike's house. We're soon to be on our way to the gold. Wrong road. Hey. This road's rough. Yeah, it's fun. It was fun. <laughs> the other road's way better. Yep, made it up to Mike's. Trees. Where are we going, Mike? We're going to the Forgotten Canyon. Nobody knows about. It. That's right, Forgotten Canyon. There's it's gold like there. A Skull Island. <laughs> you don't. It's fog, and all of a sudden you're there. <laughs> the Tron helmet. <laughs> Tron. <laughs> <laughs> the Tron helmet and the awesome wet, thick, thick wetsuit. Thick is an the understatement. Oh, you're gonna be warm. That's not even a wrist fit in there. <laughs> oh, it's an adventure. We made it to the parking spot. We are about ready to head down to our other spot where the gold is. If you haven't seen already, check out some of my latest videos. Um, check them out. We've been here multiple times. There's multiple videos of this location. We found some pretty decent gold here. So we know it's here already. You guys are in for a treat. So we just got down here. You might recognize this spot. Basically, <laughs> um, I was showing Mike the crack. Check it out. This crack right here, we've been working. Um, found some good gold the nice last crack. time I was here. Found good gold in this all the way up through here. And it continues on and I think we're going to have to dig some of that out. We're also going to do some sniping. And I think that the detector is going to come in really handy for that because there's just all kinds of little nooks and crannies in this. And that coil is waterproof and we could kind of just scan this bedrock in here and see if we find anything. I asked Mike if I could use the detector because I was thinking about how we could scan all this bedrock. There's probably little pockets with gold in them. And um, I was showing him over here, kind of just demonstrating that and kind of going over this crack because I know that we didn't have this sensitive of a detector last time we were here. And this thing picks up on pickers, like good. Oh, that, there might be something there, but I came over here. I see it. Came over here. There's another target here too. Oh wait, no. There it is. That's so loud. So hear that right there? Want me to grab it? Wait, wait, no, not yet. Uh, you gotta get some close-ups. Yeah, a little bit closer here. So you see it yet? Oh yeah. I see it. It's right here. Huge nugget. Oh wait, no. Right there. Oh, there it is. Oh, got it. Super <laughs> shiny. That's what we're looking for, folks. Right there. And you know what? Do you hear that wobble, wobble, pop, pop? I went. <laughs> here. I think there's a lot more in here. I think this is just the beginning. <laughs> yep. Let's turn the sensitivity down. Yeah, that thing's a monster. Let's go all Lives yeah. up to the name. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Get it, Mike! Ah! <laughs> Get it! The friggle frat! 
I have a change of plans. We went over this stuff with this metal detector right here. There's some targets that just kind of disappeared. I don't know if they were gold or not, but kind of gave up on that. We know that there's gold coming out of this crack. We've got plenty legs. of it. Is that normal? <laughs> I can't feel my legs. So this crack has had consistent gold in it all along here, and it continues over here and dives down into that. So there's a pocket right there, and you can see the crack goes all the way up into that boulder right there. That's going to be my targeting sniping area today, this one crack right here. You got it. <laughs> Backwards. Time to get to work. Now, a very important factor in all of this and this discovery would have to be the water level. The water level is at its lowest right now. We've had severe droughts the last couple of summers out here in California. And I think right now, in this video, the water was at its absolute lowest. I'm not even, hold on, look, look. Mike's got the six mil, <laughs> I have the three mil. He's gonna be a little warm today. I'm waiting for him though, because we got a pocket of gold. I just uncovered oh, sniping. Oh, 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 I can't wait. He to wants get to in. see it, so. He's all pocket pieces everywhere. <laughs> look, I'll show you. Remember, this is just the honey hole crack. It's, we're chasing it down this way, it continues that way. I'm right over here, right in there, and we got a bunch of pickers. Now I had a feeling from the way that this looked that this pocket was going to hold something. Little did I know that we are in for a massive surprise. This crack was completely loaded with gold. Layers upon layers of packed gravel and gold. Basically, we did like you see here and just pick gold off of gravel. We did this until we couldn't see any more gold, and then we'd take the hammer and chisel to the gravel and break it apart. This gravel was very tightly packed. Some of the tightest packed gravel I've seen in a long time. Once we hit the red rusty layer, we knew things were going to get good. Every time we've hit this layer, we've always found great gold. Once we got all the big cobble out and exposed the crack and opened it up a little bit more, we started to see a lot more gold, and bigger gold at that. Oh, 
these and there's there's two dozen of them down there it's done. one there's dirt there's dust that has to be what five six I don't know let's seven see. eight let's see. and then there's there's it doesn't stop it doesn't stop oh boy oh you gotta put that shit on me <laughs> Dude, but you're finding pickers like this this is Jerry's hole. I'm just helping him. <laughs> and it is awesome. It doesn't stop. And if you look down, as we go down, there's still Lots plenty of, of overburden. These things are floating on top of rocks that are lighter than them. It's crazy. It is. Fight a goal to the crack. Pretty much killed that crack. Let's see, it goes pretty deep. I can't even reach to the bottom. It is a good day. That is a ridiculously good day. Um, my favorite piece of the day that Gary pulled out, which he pulled out all of these, is this guy. Look at the cut of this guy. It looks like it was just like. Cut. See how it's smashed? Almost looks like an iron plate. Yeah, it's like wedged an into a, a crack pretty good. Ooh, that's almost a gram. And this guy, he looks small. You flip him over. Your favorite piece of the day, I'm sure. Yeah. This guy is nice. And the little teeny pieces. They're so cute and they're so big. <laughs> Vogus, eat your heart out, son. We're wrapping it up. We're about halfway through the day. We might stop on our way back and do something else. Just so happened that the best spot of 
basically the whole season was continuing this track right here. We've got a lot of gold in a lot of different videos from this one crack. It started somewhere around right in here. First finding it. Remember seeing some pieces walking by down in here. The last video with Candace, we were finding gold right in here. And now that mammoth of a hole, you could see where all the gravel was. You can see the different color of the bedrock. It's like blue, but there's no um, like uh, algae. So we moved a lot of material to expose that crack. And it, it's not your ideal crack. Typically you wanted to go across the river. That one still ended up holding a lot of gold though. As we made our way back towards Mike's place, he had something he wanted to show me along the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. I let all my rattlesnakes out right here. <laughs> what are these things again? This is a gooseberry. Ah, it's rotten. But what you do is take a knife, you kind of slice it in half. It's like kiwi. It tastes like kiwi when they're ripe. But it's a pain in the ass. So what we do is we just get buckets of these and we boil them. And then uh, so we crush them up, strain them out, cheese cloths and stuff, and then you got some delicious gooseberry juice. Wow, that's pretty cool. I mean, you can buy it online, it's expensive. Mike hooking it up. About to take me a shower in the mountain shower. This thing works pretty good. Mike, what are you weighing with this thing? <laughs> <laughs> Diamonds. 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 We're about to weigh this gold, check it out. Brass egg. For comparison. All right, got a little door right there. You're looking either way, yeah. Biggest piece. What do you What do you That's think? Not the biggest piece. I'll tell you that much. Oh yeah, it is. Dude, this guy's the biggest piece. Uh, right. I don't know. I think uh, it's Harry. Okay, let's guess. I'm thinking 0 0.7. 0 0.83. Ooh. I think it's so touchy. Um, Ooh, you got to zero. Let's see this. Oh, oh, almost party fell. That's okay. You can leave it right where it's at. <laughs> let's see this chunk. 0. 0.56. 0. 0.47. Ooh. This guy that you think is the big one. That one? That's the biggest one. 0. 0.9. Oh, oh, you're right. That was the biggest one. Right. You're already up to three grams right there. Well, not three, but point two, point three. Point two, three. Dude. <laughs> I think you're right, more than four. They're all quarter, quarter, quarter grams. Let's put it that way. So that's the gram and a half right there. More than 2.5. Yep, they're all. <laughs> Look at this. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah, hey. Yeah, wow, come here. You know what, Dad? Woo! All right. Let's see all of it. What is your guess for the total? Wait, Four. Four, Four point two, three. Six. This is six. Ready? Yep. Here we go. Oh! Almost seven. <laughs>
That was too accurate. <laughs> it's too accurate. <laughs> Almost seven. That's awesome. Almost a quarter ounce out of a three foot long crack. One heck of a day of prospecting that I'll never forget. You don't have very many days like this. This isn't something that you see all the time. But when it does happen, you remember every single piece of gold you pull out of that spot. And for whatever reason, there's multiple R-shaped pieces at this spot. I'd like to say thank you to all my Patreon members. It's because of you that all of these adventures are possible, and I can't thank you enough for all the support. If you're considering becoming a Patreon member, check out the link in the description below. There's also a link in the top right corner of the next screen. Patreon members have many benefits, including group outings and chances at winning guided tours. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit that thumbs up button and drop a comment below. Also consider subscribing for future gold related content. Thank you for watching and as always, I wish you heavy pants.